Femboy Hooters. I'm so hard just thinking about it. <laughs> tomboy Outback, which is freaking wonderful because while I was growing up, I was a tomboy. Milf Denny's? Sounds would be the dream for us guys. Are you ready to talk about some Aura Aura Arby's? I guess so. You still haven't told me exactly what Aura Aura Arby's is, but we'll see what, what's going on. One, you may remember... Oh, I'm sorry. Trap Lover 69. Trap Lord 69, if I may. Be so frank. Or you can also call me Lord Follis. <laughs> Not too long ago, which is probably like two years ago, we did R.R. Arby's, Femboy Hooters, Milf Denny's, and Tomboy Outback. Let me stop you right there. It's not Ara Aras. Ara Ara. Okay. Well, okay, Lexington, calm down. <laughs> hey, that will happen one of these days. But there is one that's kind of lived the test of time. And those videos did really well. I mean, they're all in the upper, like, almost thousands of views. Thousand, not thousands. Thousand. <laughs> um, but Goth IHOP. This is uh, surprisingly new to me. Like I've heard of Fanboy Hooters. Uh huh. Then there's wait. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about what the fucking milf one. Milf Denny's. Milf Denny, yeah, yeah. Denny's IHOP. Whatever. I'm like, yeah. hold on. We never did the IHOP one because back when that first happened, Goth IHOP was not very popular. So we did the more popular Tomboy Outback, RRBs, and Milf Denny's. Right. Um. But if you look up Goth IHOP on Google, it says it's a real establishment. Well, really? It says it was established November 1st, 2020 at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hmm. It's located in DV8 Distillery. Don't know what that means. And that's about all it gives. If you scroll down, you'll see many YouTube videos. And now it's it's currently 2022. And remember, all those memes are back during COVID, so 2020. But these YouTubers are, are October of 2021, February of 2021, November of 2021, so it's really continued past the other Femboy Hooter spinoffs. But, so if we go to the meme review, it says Goth IHOP, part of the Femboy Hooters lore. Origin Twitter, year 2020. And then catchphrase, Photoshop, virtual debate. Whatever. And what's funny is I'm getting pretty drunk right now. We actually just recorded a sweep episode. And if you remember, those episodes, I was so drunk that other people had to take control of the episode. Oh, yeah, when fucking uh, <laughs> Sandy took over the other one. Yeah. I forgot, what, I forgot which one that one was. Uh, so we did the Fimboy Hooters. I, I don't know how I got through it, but I did. And then Sandy had to take over for RRBs and Tomboy Outback. Okay, okay. But oh, that, that's the one I was doing, Tomboy Outback. Josh wasn't available because I think he was like out the entire night. So the next day in the morning, I did the Tomboy Outback. Um, or no, I did uh, R.R. Arby's with him. I was completely sober. Surprised you didn't have me there. Uh, that was the next morning, so I spent the night. Remember? Oh yeah. So, but yeah, I did the Fimboy Hooters with you, of course. And then it was supposed to be Fimboy Hooters with you, R.R. Arby's with Josh, uh, Tomboy Outback with Anthony, and then uh, Milf Denny's with Sandy. But it come to find out that I was so drunk I couldn't continue. So. But let's talk about the about. Goth IHOP refers to the series of memes exploring the concept of an IHOP restaurant with goth themes inspired by Fimble Hooters. A similar restaurant revamped concept introduced as in the spring of 2020. Goth IHOP began trending on Twitter in early of June, causing the creation of memes regarding the visit of Goth IHOP, what the fictional restaurant would offer. So it started on June 7th of 2020 when Twitter user Destroy Me <laughs> shared four images. You know, I actually heard of, uh, was it Goth IHOP? Mm -hmm. Something like that from a YouTube channel. Um, I, for, I can't think of the name right now. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm in their Discord channel, actually. Let me look. But the, his whole videos is like stop motion pictures. And obviously one of them has a stolfo in it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He's called Pants, Pants a Hat. Of course. So the it's it's like a stop motion, but it's like Master Chief, an action figure, Master Chief, Ostalfo, and some other characters. It's really funny. And I think I saw that. Doesn't it, it has a Bionicle too, right? A uh, bion Bionicle. Yeah, yes. I actually saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me some Doritos. That's actually that was the uh, platypus. Was that the was that the animal platypus? Hippopotamus. Okay. Is the animal was like bro? Yeah, I was gonna Doritos. say. 
Perry the platypus. <laughs> no. We're wrong. Agent P. We're way off subject. <laughs> We're way off subject. All right. So uh, somebody else, which is called I Got No Patience Now, so sick of compliance now. Okay. At Seth for the 716. Not sure what Goth IOP is, but here you go. And it's just two pictures of blue waffles. <sighs> You just had to say that. I mean, it's it's dark blue white waffles, so you know. This is why I'm gay. There's also black pancakes. No goth eye. I don't even. <laughs> there okay, isn't okay, a okay. Okay, is it black or charred? I think it's dark blue, like super dark blue. I know you love charred me. Charred pancakes, though. I wouldn't be surprised. I I wouldn't be surprised knowing you. I like charred meat. Hot dogs, steak. I like my steak super well done. Hamburgers. You know, the way God intended it. That's why he had us create fire. Fire. Where's your source in this? The Bible. Bullshit. <laughs> so you're saying just because I like mine medium rare, I'm the devil. Um, I just think it means you're a savage. Heathen. Heretic. So a fallen angel? Gotcha. Just yeah. call me Belial. Okay. There's an official goth IHOP Twitter called at real goth IHOP. Apparently, people follow them because they top Fimboy Hooters. Um, yeah, so that exists. And what inspired this is about a year ago, so in 2021, and the resurgent of goth IHOP is a TikTok person. Uh, I'm not sure what their actual username is. It was uploaded to YouTube under Epic Donkey 369, which has 817 subscribers. I think it's just a stolen TikTok where it says goth IHOP is real. And it showed a gothic woman in a short skirt. A and yo? Yeah. So basically like a Hooters or Twin Peaks style outfit. And we've been to restaurants like this that isn't Hooters or Twin Peaks that is in the style. We've been to Mexican places and stuff that have just provocative women that serve you. And it looks like. All of the staff is in the same kind of uniform. And it's like, oh, we're... It's clearly a sports bar because it has a bunch of TVs playing a bunch of sports channels. But it's like, she's like, oh, goth IHOP is real. Look at me do my dance in goth IHOP. But it's not. It's just probably some other restaurant. But that's what kicked off goth IHOP. And that's why we're doing this two years later from all our other episodes. It has nothing to do with the amount of views that they got. For they real. still get views. For real, for real, no cap on God. <laughs> on God, no cap. Dead ass. Dead ass. All right. Bam. They they still get views. Like every once in a while, I'll just be checking the views that we got. And clearly the newest video has the most views. Sometimes other videos kind of pop up. A lot of the Vic Mignogna stuff will have a resurgent. Uh, some of the April Fool vi- videos will have a resurgence. And then occasionally I'll be like, oh, for some reason, Milf Denny's has eight more views. Like, where the hell do those come from? <laughs> like, So YouTube likes to recommend those quite a bit. Uh, and some of the comments that I get on those videos are just from people that have no idea who the hell we are. And what's funny is those are some of the drunkest videos that we've ever produced on the channel. Love to see it. Because uh, <laughs> Sandy likes to think that she was okay. She wasn't. She was just better than I was. <laughs> but she was still beyond drunk. You weren't. You weren't sober by any stretch of the imagination, so it's kind of funny. But well, you don't you don't want really drug me. <laughs> I, <coughs> uh, sorry, I have Wan disease. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you have tuberculosis. I do. So <laughs> I I've had you on the podcast really drunk before, and it's mainly just I don't know what the fuck is going on. But anyways, oh, you haven't seen drunk with me. <laughs> I have several different different levels of drunk. It's not even your final form? No. <laughs> but that's the reason why Goth IHOP has withstood the test of time. And while we're putting out this video, any final thoughts? Would, would you go to Goth IHOP? <sighs> I mean, it's close enough. See, I would prefer Goth Lolita because my wife, Ukurumi, mm-hmm. is dressed in Goth Lolita. Yeah. And another wife, who Rory Mercury, she's also Goth Lolita. I would debate if Ruby from Ruby, Ruby Rose mm-hmm. from Ruby is also dressed like that. Kind of similar. I think it's, I'm just going to wait and hold off for beer. Blue Waffle Waffle. Um, you're disgusting. Roll man, 
Whoa, man. I am a trans woman. Trans man, woman, lady boy, nigga bitch. I don't give a fuck. Those are not the correct pronouns.